everyone welcome back to my channel the crochet shop in this tutorial I'll show you how to crochet a beautiful new Christmas baby blanket first you will need your selected yarn I will use Alize Sekarin baby darkish yarn suitable crochet hook I will use 3.5 millimeters crochet hook Measuring tape, markers, yarn needle, and scissors. First, make a slip knot with any method as you like. Then, chain multiples of 8 plus 2. In this tutorial, I will make 162. But first, Measure your chains according to your selected baby blanket size. In this tutorial, I will make stroller blanket size. To make the first row, in the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet stitch, then chain one, now skip three chain stitches, in the next stitch make Two double crochet stitches, chain one, then another two double crochet stitches all in the same stitch to make one shell stitch. After you finish the first shell stitch, chain 1, then skip 3 chain stitches, in the next stitch make 1 single crochet stitch, check your chain numbers. Repeat this. Chain 1. Skip 3 chain stitches. In the next stitch, make 1 shell stitch by making 2 double crochet stitches. Chain 1. Another 2 double crochet stitches all in the same stitch. Then, 
After you finish the shell stitch, make one chain stitch, then skip three chain stitches. In the next stitch, make one single crochet stitch. Repeat like this. Repeat like this to finish the first row. After you finished the last shell stitch, chain 1 and you will find 4 chain stitches, skip 3 chain stitches, in the last chain stitch make 1 single crochet stitch. To make row number 2, chain 5. Turn your work in the first shell chain stitch space, make one single crochet stitch. Then chain three, in the next single crochet stitch make one cherry stitch by making four double crochet stitches all in the same single crochet stitch. Now remove the hook from your work and insert your hook before the four double crochet stitches group. Insert your hook from the back in the last double crochet stitch and make one slip stitch. Now you have the first chair stitch, chain three, repeat like this. In the next chain space, make one single crochet stitch, then chain three, repeat this by chain three. In the next single crochet stitch, make four double crochet stitches all in the same stitch now remove your hook from your work and insert your hook before the four double crochet stitches group From the back, insert your hook in the last double crochet stitch and make one slip stitch. Now you have a chair stitch, then chain 3. In the next chain space, in the shell center, make one single crochet stitch.
Repeat like this. Chain 3. In the next single crochet stitch, make one share stitch. Chain 3 In the next shell chain space Make one single crochet stitch Repeat this To finish the row number 2 After you finish the last shell chain space by making one single crochet stitch chain 3 then in the last single crochet stitch make one double crochet stitch Now you have finished the row number 2. To make row number 3, chain 1, turn your work. In the first double crochet stitch, make one single crochet stitch. Then Chain 1 In the next single crochet stitch make one shell stitch by making two double crochet stitches chain 1 and another two double crochet stitches all in the same single crochet stitch together After you finished the first shell, chain 1, in the next shell stitch, make one single crochet stitch, take care, don't work, in the next chain space, insert your hook in the shell stitch and make one single crochet stitch, repeat this chain 1 now in the next single crochet stitch make one shell stitch then chain 1 in the next share stitch make one single crochet stitch after you finish the row number three in the last after you finished the last shell stitch chain one now in the third chain stitch Insert your hook and make one single crochet stitch to finish the row number 3. Now you finished the row number 3. To make the row number 4, repeat the row number 2 by chain 5, turn your work in the first chain space make one single crochet stitch and repeat the row number two with share stitches
After you repeat row number two and finished it, repeat row number three. Then, after you finished row number three, repeat row number two. Then, repeat row number three. So you will repeat row number two and then repeat row number three to finish your blanket. Measure according to your selected baby blanket size. Finish with a sherry stitches row to make a simple blanket edge. Chain 2. Rotate your blanket in the first double crochet space. Make 3 double crochet stitches all in the same space repeat this in the next double crochet space make three double crochet stitches all in the same space repeat like this to finish the first side After you finished the first side, to make the corner space, make 9 double crochet stitches all in the same space. After you finish the corner space, in the next chain 3 space, make 3 double crochet stitches together. Repeat this in the next chain 3 space, make 3 double crochet stitches all in the same space. Repeat this to finish all spaces and repeat the next two corner spaces after you finish all spaces and corners in the last you will find the first space make six double crochet stitches all in the first corner space now in the second beginning chain insert your hook and make a slip stitch to join then chain one to fasten off and cut the yarn to even ends, block your blanket with the easy method. Check the last uploaded video to know the easy method. Now 
Now your beautiful blanket is ready. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give me big thumbs up. To see more, happy Merry Christmas. Bye bye.